Here's some of my favorite parts from DroidCon Boston 2018. This event had a fantastic team behind it. Georgie, Eliza, Garima, all of the other volunteers, everybody on the staff. The event seemed well organized to me. We had snacks, we had drinks, we had a cool venue. It wouldn't have happened without the team. So a big shout out to everybody involved in organizing and staffing DroidCon Boston. So if you're coming to a conference, a big part of that draw is going to be the content. You want to hear great talks, you want to learn, and you want to be able to take that back home with you and apply it in some way. The content did not disappoint. There were so many different topics at this conference, and I'm going to list a couple of them right here. It'll take a second. All right. As you can see, there was a lot going on. And for me, a couple things stuck out. Uh, Kotlin seem to be here in a big way. There was a number of talks on Kotlin, including my own, and that just continues to show that the community has an interest in that and more and more people want to continue to maybe start exploring that and see if they want to adopt that in their projects. Another big one was architecture. We had MVVM, we had MVI, we had some MVP, we were looking at things like Flux and Redux and how those are applied on Android. With architectures, there's always little tweaks, little ways that you can improve. So for me, those are always relevant, always really exciting, and I encourage you to check those out. I'm gonna include all these links in the show notes below so you can check them out there. But one more content-related thing that I thought was really cool was that there were a number of workshops going on throughout the two days as well. I'm personally really excited to go back and check these out. These are things that I am really interested in and will probably have both hobby time personally and some work time to check out coming down the line. Love the idea of doing the workshop, getting a little bit deeper of a dive, some hands-on time. Just another reason why this was such an awesome event. Speaking of unique and interesting content, how many conferences have you been to where you are taught how to do a handstand in one of the keynote talks. Oh wait, it probably won't take you long to think about that. I've never been to an event like that, and I thought that this was such an interesting and unique talk because it took a completely unrelated topic and yet wrapped everything up back nicely, made it extremely relevant for how we learn and continue to grow as engineers, as Android developers, kudos to everybody involved in making that happen. Not only did we have one awesome keynote, but for me, I actually thought all of them were really great. All unique, interesting takes on some different aspects of being an Android developer that maybe we don't always think about, but can provide a lot of insight and value into how we go about our daily work.
I loved Lisa's presentation, especially the, the, the slides were amazing, the benefits for why we contribute to the community, how we are a part of the community, and so our problems are generally problems that other people have either solved or would love to see solved. So I thought that was a really great way to foster and drive home that idea of community, which was such a big part of DroidCon Boston this year. Kelly's talk was amazing. I. I really love the dynamic between working with design and engineering. I think it's so crucial for building great, meaningful products that actually can have an impact on people. But I do think there's a lot of friction there at times. And so for me, it definitely prompted some ideas that we can take back and try and improve our workflows. Hopefully it did the same for others. Community. This was a topic from the very get-go. Georgie introduced us to his community addiction for building thriving, vibrant communities wherever he goes. Side note, I'm personally very excited that he's moving to Seattle. I would love to see us continue to build that there. And side note. And so I, for, for me, this is what made this event so great. The community was amazing. I have never met so many people at a conference before. I had a lot of interesting conversations, got to know some people personally. I got to meet a bunch of internet friends in person for the first time, which was awesome to actually see and interact with people, not just through the Twitter, but in real life. So that was amazing. I thought it was so cool that there was people from all over the world bringing their different perspectives, ideas, experiences, and just a big shout out to the DroidCon team for bringing all of us together so that we could share those ideas, build those connections, and hopefully turn those into interesting collaborations, more knowledge shared, better products, better engineers. Community is really one of the biggest reasons for coming to these events. The, the content is great, getting out of the office is great, but it's really the people behind it that can make or break an event. And for me, this was two big thumbs up. Thank you so much to everybody involved. I am so glad I got to meet all of these great people, interact with this amazing Android developer community that we have. I'm already looking forward to next year's event. I'm sure it will be amazing as well. If you didn't get a chance to go this year, or if you did, either way, I really hope that I can see you there next year. We'll see you later.